Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Much Brew About Nothing. So, last week on our instant deck decks, it was Red Black Goblins in Modern coming out on top, which means this week we are heading to Modern for some super sweet tribal action. So, as we've been doing recently, super quick 30 second deck tech, just as a refresher. Again, make sure to check out the full instant deck tech if you want a real in depth breakdown of the deck. Anyway, let's jump into it. Red Black Goblins. So, Red Black Goblins is basically the merfolk build of goblins, playing a ton of lords, looking to play some goblins, pump them up with mimics and goblin chieftains, and even mad aunties, part of the Black Splash. It also has Ether Vial, which kind of makes the deck feel even more like Merfolk. That's the game it's trying to play. Use Vile to cheat on mana, put a bunch of lords into play. If we don't have Vile, we can Frog Toss or Banneret to cheat on our cost. We have good one drops and Legion Loyalists and Goblin Guide. Mog War Marshal puts double bodies of goblins on the battlefield to work well with our lords. Follow that up with Pile Driver and Goblin Rabble Master, which become huge stackers once we get the board full of goblins, hopefully allowing us to close out the game. As far as the spells, only a few. Goblin Grenade, five damage for one mana, pretty good deal. A couple of lightning bolts a claim to fame to get some stuff back from the graveyard mana base like merfolk we get muta vault which is a goblin when we need it to be cavern for uncounterability a bunch of dual lands some snow covered lands for no specific reason as far as the sideboard we get some more removal including smash and shattering speed to deal with some artifacts earwig squad to fight combo blood moon to jank out some wins nile spell bomb and rain of gore give us some graveyard hate some life gain hate more claim to fame for grindy matchups and that's red black goblins for modern and that's our much a brew deck for this week so anyway i'm gonna stop rambling oh yeah one quick note you probably noticed this video went up on Saturday rather than Sunday, and the reason why will make sense by the time you get to the end of this video, but I should tell you now, double episode this weekend. There is more much brew, so the normal episode tomorrow will still be coming out, so keep an eye out for that as well. Anyway, let's get to the gameplay. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the games, and I will talk to you soon. If you're looking for a fashionable way to support the channel, make sure to check out the Ixalan t-shirt over at mtgoldfishmerch.com. Alright, much brew about nothing time. Playing some red black goblins. In modern, and uh, I guess we'll try this, ish. I mean, eh, it's fine. Land heavy, but the muta vaults help make up for that a little bit. So let's just muta vault and ether vial. Pass the turn. Dark slick shores for our opponent, and thoughtsies. Ugh. All right, takes the chieftain. Well, vial taken up. Let's play muta vault. Activate muta vault. Hit our opponent. Down to 16, past the turn. Mutavolt. Oh, maybe our opponent's playing fairies. Bitter Blossom. Well, hopefully we can force through some damage here. We don't have that many burn spells. Vile, taken up. That's not bad. Bloodstain Mire, crack Bloodstain Mire. Grab a. Hmm. Grab a Mountain. Play Metallic Mimic on Goblin. Play Goblin Guide. Get in for three. Mana leak on top. That is pretty close to a dead card. And pass the turn. We just got to get our opponent low enough on everything that this Bitter Blossom is a real cost and maybe kills them. Watery Grave. Tapped. Opponent's passing. Well, Vile in Goblin Pile Driver. Vile taken up to three. Play Cavern on Goblin. Fire up Mutavault. Fire up Mutavault. Attack with everything. Trigger, trigger. So Pile Driver gets huge. Opponent reveals Vendillion Click. Also not super great here. And our post scoops it up. All right. That's the Goblin Nuts. That's that's what I imagine this deck wants to be doing. Basically just the turn four kill. That That's exactly it. That is exactly it. Whew. All right. So it is possible to do some winning with this deck. It's possible. Um, what do we want now is the question. Being able to avoid all of our opponent's counters is pretty helpful with Vile and Cavern. That seems like a big, a big boost for our deck. Maybe Blood Moons? Blood Moons seem like game over against this deck. What do we go down for Blood Moons? Maybe like Claim to Fame and one Frog Tosser? 
Ugh. Yeah, let's try that. Try it like that. See how it works. All right, opponents on the draw here for game number two. Eh, I mean, I guess this hand's fine. We don't have any way to force our stuff through counters, but we got two one drops and a couple of okay two drops. Seems reasonable enough. Watery grave for our opponent. Tapped. Oh, and a blood moon. Good golly. Well, blood crypt, untapped. And goblin guide. I'm guessing our opponent probably goes down some of their counters. Just because they saw so much anti-counter stuff in our deck. Get in with Goblin Guide. Bonant. Gets a free land. That's not bad. Now pass the turn. See what our opponent has. Dark Slick Shores. And passes. Well, let's Mute of all. Play Frog Tosser Banneret. And go attacking. Bonant. Click on top. Spell Stutter. Interesting. Blocks Frog Tosser. All right. Well, pass the turn. Mute Vault. If our opponent flashes and click, they did not. If we resolve Blood Moon, we win. Well, let's get in with Goblin Guide. Don't it. Fatal Push on top. Oh. Uh, this is probably a misplay on our part. Well, bolt the click. Yeah, we probably should have, I guess, ran out the Blood Moon pre-combat because of them flashing in click during combat. They do take the Blood Moon. They also take two damage. Well, Bloodstained Mire, crack it. Grab a Mountain. Play Mogwar Marshal. Pass the turn. Opponent has an Island. And passes. Now play for War Marshal. Play Legion Loyalist. <laughs> Spell Stutter. Okay. Yeah, we should have played that Blood Moon pre-combat. Get in with Goblin Guide. Liliana. Oh my god. Liliana. That's probably death to us. Kills our Goblin Guide. Here comes Liliana. That just kills all of our stuff for free. Opponent passes. Well, fire up Muta Vault. Play Legion Loyalist. Everything at Liliana. Opponent blocks. Yep. Liliana to one, but still alive. Past the turn. Yeah, I think it comes back to not playing that Blood Moon pre-combat. Kills our Loyalist. Opponent's passing. Well, fire up Muta Vault. Play Loyalist. Opponent's in the tank. Thinking it over. Alright, resolves. We go to combat. Everything at Liliana. Ugh. Snapcaster for Fatal Push. Yeah, kills Muta Vault. And yeah, that actually does it. We're going to concede here. Yup, yup, yup. Liliana against our deck is the equivalent of turn 3 Tron in other decks. Yeah, we should have uh, ran out that Blood Moon pre-combat main phase. At least we're on the play for game number 3. Oi, get to play first. I don't even know if we can keep this. Yeah, we're going to mulligan. All right, I don't know if this is actually better, unfortunately, but we'll try it. War Marshal to the bottom. Cavern on Goblin. And Loyalist. Get in, 4-1. Pass the turn. Our opening seven was just way too land heavy to really be keepable. Cavern on Goblin. Play Frog Tosser. Get in for two, and pass the turn. Polluted Delta for our opponent cracks it. They're gonna get down a Bitter Blossom. That might actually be good for us. Yeah, opponent knows to fetch up their basics now. Ugh, collective brutality. Three modes. Discards two lands. Well, if we draw a normal land, we can Blood Moon. We do not. All right. Well, get in with Legion Loyalist. Opponent, land, and passes. Well, get it with Legion Loyalist. All right, there's Spell Stutter. Trades. I mean, hopefully this means Blood Moon resolves and we win. All right, Blood Moon down. Now the odds have got to be swung heavily in our favor. Worth giving up our... Oh my goodness, it's a basic island. That's something. I'll play Rabble Master. 
get a token, get in for one. I mean, this still locks out cryptics and a lot of annoying stuff, but our opponent can still function somewhat. Pluto Delta. It's a mountain. Opponent passing. Well, play Swamp. Play Legion Loyalist. Play Chieftain. Do we just win? Attack with everything. Is this the Goblin? The Goblin win? Down to one! Oh, we're so close! No Swamp Damnation. Please. Please. Do we get there? Goblins? Red Black Goblins? Blood Moon? <laughs> Blood Moon janking out wins, even in Red Black Goblins. Hopefully, hopefully this can't go wrong from here. Only thing I can think of is untapped Black Source, so a basic Swamp plus a Sweeper. That's the only way I can really imagine this going wrong. That went pretty well. Opponent plays Muta Vault and scoops it up. Sweet! Goblins! On the winning track. All right. Much brew about nothing time. Playing some red, black, vile goblins in modern. And we'll keep this. I mean, this hand's fine. So let's Andy's hovel. Reveal loyalist. Play loyalist. Get in for one. So next turn we can frog tosser banneret. Hopefully into goblin chieftain. Island for our opponent and serum visions. We basically need to kill our opponent before they Jason wrath. Opponent passes. We'll play Black Cleave Cliffs. Play Frog Tosser Banneret. Go attacking. Hit our opponent down to 17. Cavern of Souls is probably our best draw. Opponent plays a Plains. And passes. Hmm. Counter mana. Uh, play Legion Loyalist. Play Mog War Marshal. Go attacking. Hit our opponent down to 14. Opponent cycles a Farmland. Man, we are close. If we can somehow revolve, uh, resolve this Chieftain. Opponent plays the Plains. And passes. No Echo. War Marshal dies. Well, play Chieftain. Go to combat. Oh, there's the path. All right. Well, the question's going to be, can our opponent also follow this up with... With a Sweeper? Down to 10. If they can go untap land... Wrath. And they found the untapped land. They cracked that flooded strand super quick. There's Supreme Verdict, of course. Opponent passes. Well, play Goblin Guide. Play Mogwar Marshal. Get in with Goblin Guide. Spreading Seas on top. Oh man, we are still super close. One point of damage if we can resolve these bolts. Unfortunately, this is kind of a burn light version of goblins we only have two bolts and two goblin grenades instead of a lot of decks that play like four and four getting into the trials ticks up oh we got it no pay war marshal dies hit our opponent for one bolt our opponent no redirect bolt our opponent no redirect, and we got there. Even through the sweeper, we were fast enough. Whew! All right. Well, got in underneath the J-Stacks. Maybe that's a reason for this Goblin deck to be good. Maybe we just get in underneath the, the J-Stacks and are able to take advantage. Rass are still definitely super obnoxious. So how do we fight against this blue-white control deck? Earwig Squad seems all right. What's bad against blue right control? I mean, I think we just got to be fast. I think that's our main way of winning this game is just race our opponent. I'm almost wondering if we should be taking out, like, Aether Vials. But no. Aether Vial lets us avoid counter spells. Legion Loyalist, Goblin Guide, Burn, Burn, Frog Tosser, Banneret, Pile Driver, War Marshal, Lords, Lords... I mean, like, Nile Spellbomb is okay. I don't think Blood Moon is as good against Blue-White as it is against some of the other decks in the format. They do play a lot of basics. Like, it's okay, but it's not insane. Artifact Removal, no. I don't think Reign of Gore, but maybe that's wrong. An Earwig Squad is better against Combo, especially since we don't have that many Rogues. So Earwig Squad actually looks kind of bad. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> Counts Goblins, too. Just kidding. Do we just run it back? Is it that simple? 
Maybe we go down like a Banneret for a Nile spell bomb and a Lightning Bolt for a Nile spell bomb. And yeah, let's just try it like that. See what happens. Well, I actually really like this hand. We have our cavern. So counter spells aren't an issue. We have some hasty threats. Rabble Master is pretty good. Opponent. Land goo. Ooh, jeez. Cavern on Goblin. And Ether Vial. Pass the turn. Ether Vial is also nice because it lets us play our threats at the end of our opponent's turn, which really pressures their removal in a in a interesting way. We still do need to be careful with our threats, though, or we will just run out and Rask can really get us. But if we're careful, opponent cracks, so down to 19. Gets an island. And Serum Vision, just all the Serum Visions. Opponent passing. Well, tick up Vial. More Vials. Hmm. I think we're just gonna play Ether Vial. Play Anti's Hovel. Tap. Violin Legion Loyalist. Hit our opponent. And pass the turn. Opponent spreading sees our cavern. That's actually not that relevant because we have these two ether vials going. So we just get one on two and one on three. Yep. Vials taken up. Goblin Grenade is a nice way to potentially finish off this game. Hmm. Let's get in for one. Hit our opponent. Play War Marshal. And pass the turn. Plan on Viling in Pile Driver. We can hit for a lot of damage next turn if nothing goes wrong. Glacial Fortress. There's a Wall of Omens. Okay. Draws a card. Opponent passing. Well, Vial in a Pile Driver. Pay for everything. Yeah, pay for War Marshal. Take up our Vial. Take up our vial. Go to combat. Attack with everything. Opponent's probably got a path or something. Ugh, condemn. Yeah, that's basically like a path. Anti Suvel. Pass the turn. Opponent's still at 14. Colonnade. Well, violin. Rabble Master. Gonna start leaving our vials where they're at. Ugh, more lands. I'll go to combat. Get a goblin. Opponent cryptics. Play the land. Pass the turn. Mystic gate. And there's a supreme verdict. Yep. Well, come on, goblin rabble master. Up to you. Hopefully our opponent does not have another path. Slash condemn. Top. And tanking. Top, top. Opponent passes. Well, Violin, Rabble Master. Vials staying where they are. Hmm. Claim to fame, eh? Well, let's get back War Marshal. Get a token. Fame, War Marshal. Go to combat. Oh, they do have the path. Oh, man. If they didn't have that path, I think we win there. Hit our opponent. Down to 10. Oh, we were so close. But now we're basically out of action. Wall of Omens. Draws a card. Plays a land. Jace. Takes up. Yeah, it's going to be very hard for us to win from here. Puts a card to the bottom. I guess we could hit a Lord. So pay for War Marshal. Keep our vials the same. Mute Vault. Well, everything in our opponent. I think we're just going to have to Goblin Grenade this Jace. Ugh. Oh, Jace is so insane. So we can kill the Jace with Goblin Grenade. The problem is, that's five damage that's not going at our opponent's face. And can we win if we don't put that damage at our opponent's face? I don't think we can let them keep the Jace. So Goblin Grenade. Sack War Marshal. Yeah, we have to kill Jace. Play Muta Vault. Pass the turn. Oh, hopefully we don't end up regretting that. Jace is just so insane. There goes our goblin tokens. We don't really have any source of card advantage in this deck, which is kind of a problem. 
Like, our opponent's out of cards, but we're out of cards, but our opponent can draw cards. Play Legion Loyalist. Fire up Mutavault. There's the Field of Ruin. Yep, grab a land. And now we just have a lot of horrible draws, and our opponent has a lot of insane draws. Like, if they ever draw a second Jace, they win. Cryptic's the Detention Sphere. Replays Detention Sphere. Hits our Ether Vials. Opponent passing. Yeah, we pass the turn. Yeah, this deck doesn't seem like it does well once it gets to this point of the game. We really gotta win quickly. The bit of good news is we will be on the play for game three. But there's just not a good recovery button once we get to this part of the game. Opponents to the point where they feel like they can fire up their colonnades. Jeez. Yep, hits us for four. Three cards still in hand. Down to 18. We draw. Eh, Cavern on Goblin. Yeah. Pass the turn. I don't think we can win from here, though. Our deck doesn't have have cards to win from here. Snapcaster Mage. And yeah, we're just going to to uh, scoop it up. Not really... There's no way we win from this board position. No combination of draws. Even if we could Demonic Tutor every turn, no way we can win from there. Well, good news, like we said, is we get to be on the play for Game 3. Maybe Blood Moon is good enough on the play. Maybe we ignore the Graveyard. I think we're going to bring it in. On the play, it's a little bit better. And we still, I mean, worst case, it shuts down like Cryptic Command. So let's try it. Let's try it like that. I mean, I'm still not sold on it necessarily being good enough. We get to play first, which is uh, theoretically good. No lands. All right, one land. But we do have our one land is Cavern. And we do have Ether Vial. So we'll keep. Mimic's got to go bottom. Cavern on Goblin. And Ether Vial. Pass the turn. Tap land. We actually kind of want a land here to play a Metallic Mimic. Tick up. No land. Well, pass the turn. These Metallic Mimics are actually super problematic, I think is the term. Wall of Omens. Opponents drawing some cards. And passes. Well, take up Ether Vial. Not a land. Pass the turn. Mystic Gate. Not feeling good. Serum Visions for our opponent. I mean, they might just be playing a Jace on an empty board. Deck doesn't seem like it mulligans that well. Spreading Seas on our Cavern. Alright. Well, Vial in Metallic Mimic on Goblin. Untap. Vile and Metallic Mimic on Goblin. Put a counter. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. And there's Jace. Bounces a Mimic. Well, this could have went worse. Just because... Ugh. Well, Vile and Chieftain. Everything at Jace. No blocks. Jace down. Pass the turn. Definitely still not a good position by any stretch. We've just given our opponent an infinite amount of time. Island. Gideon of the Trials. Takes up on our Chieftain. Wall of Omens. Yep. I mean, we got a good board, but... Wraths. Nope. Goblin Guide. Cannot cast it. So we just pass the turn. Takes up. Well, let's Vile. In Mad Ante. Opponent lets it go. Vile staying on three. Well, Vile. In Rabble Master. Go to combat. Get a goblin. There's the cryptic. Pass the turn. Do they have the Wrath? The Mad Ante is kind of like our protection from Wrath, but it's tapped from cryptic. And they do. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's just game. Emblem's Gideon. Vile, staying on three. Yeah. Alright, goblins. Not like this. I just don't think we can win the late game. And we're to the late game. Takes up. Taps on taps. There's a Jace. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, this hand was really good, too. We just... I mean, for being on the mulligan, this hand was really good. We just never found our second land, and now it's just... It's over. Yeah. All right, discarding the hand size. Actually, we should probably just concede, honestly. It just didn't work out. We're locked under the fate seal of Jason Mind Sculptor. So our opponent can just keep putting... Yeah, they just put our land to the bottom. So it's very hard for me to imagine a way this works out. Jace is on seven. Gideon's on six. Opponent's leaving up all their mana. They're able to lantern control our lands to the bottom. Yeah. All right. Good game. Good game. All right. Much brew time. Playing some red black goblins in modern. And I mean, I guess this is what we keep. We are going to need to draw land. But if we draw land, it could be amazing. Get in with Legion Loyalist. Put our opponent down to 19. Pass the turn. Mountain. Opponent. Passing. We not a land. Well, Legion Loyalist. Get in. Hit our opponent for two. And pass the turn. Is our opponent playing, oh, like a free win red style deck? Hell, there's Black Cleave Cliffs. So, play Frog Tosser. Hit our opponent. All right, kills Frog Tosser. Opponent down to 15, past the turn. Ensnaring Bridge is definitely a pretty big concern. We don't have a main deck out to it. Blood Moon, not as big of a concern. Still obnoxious. We'll play War Marshal. This Aether Vial is a bit late. Go attacking. Hit our opponent down to 13. The bigger concern is we don't really have reach. Not much reach. Which means once we get locked, it's going to be really hard to get back in the game. There's a Chandra, adds mana, and Boros Reckoner. I don't know if we can beat that. War Marshal dies. Play War Marshal. Pass the turn. Opponent takes up Chandra, gets a Chandra, hits us for two. Rattle Master. And eh, not super good here. Goes attacking. Well, we'll trade with War Marshal because we're not planning on paying anyway. War Marshal dies. Opponent passes. Play Aether Vial. Yeah, we're in really bad shape. Pass the turn. Opponent. I mean, Chandra's going to ultimate, or we're going to have to suicide our team into Chandra. And neither one of those plans end with us winning. Both of those are losing lines. Takes up Chandra, so ultimate next turn, down to 16. Wow. Plays a Chandra. Not interested in legend rules themselves. Takes up Chandra, gets a bolt. I can't believe they didn't try to go for the ultimate. Somehow our deck with Blood Moon in the sideboard is mana screwed by Blood Moon. Bolts our face. Opponent's just trying to kill us. All right, here comes the goblin. Yep, we take it. Down to 12. Opponent passes. Vial up to one. Play Bloodstain Mire. Play Goblin Chieftain. Everything at our opponent. Hopefully we don't lose because of this, but we don't really have a choice. Opponent blocks. Opponent blocks. Oh no. Wow. Alright. Yup. Opponents to three. This does turn on Lightning Bolt as an out. Opponent. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a blasphemous act. All right. Sure. That is a, a good one. All right. All right. All right. Um, we don't have any cards for this matchup. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess we just run it back. We get to play first. And okay. I mean, this is what our hands are supposed to look like. We will see if it's good enough. Bloodstain Mire, crack it. Opponents, you know, let us fetch. Thank you. Goblin Guide. Get in for two. And opponent gets a gemstone caverns. Well, pass the turn. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. Discards. Well, getting away goblin guide. Hit our opponent. Rabble master on top. Opponent takes it. Nope. Lightning bolt. Yep. We'll play bloodstained mire. Crack it. Grab a swamp. Play metallic mimic on goblin. 
And pass the turn. Opponent. Tapping, untapping. And passing. Well, Bloodstained Mire. Crack Bloodstained Mire. Grab a mountain. Run out Chieftain. Alright, more removal. Get in for two. And pass the turn. There's a mountain for our opponent and a Rabble Master. Yep. Gets in for one. Well, play Banneret. Mog War Marshal's not a bad draw. Play War Marshal. Go attacking. Hit our opponent for six. Opponent takes it down to ten. Well, let's see what our opponent has. Boros Reckoner. Gets in. Ooh. I think this means we got it. Down to ten. Because we have this Goblin Grenade. War Marshal dies. We get a token. Play another War Marshal. Oh. We don't even need the Goblin Grenade. Go attacking. And wow. I think we got there. Maybe. Opponent blocks. Takes ten. And scoops it up. All right. We snuck out the win. We snuck out the win. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Heart attack. Heart attack. Heart attack. Maybe we should be trying to fatal push. Fractals or Banneret can be pretty explosive. I don't know about this Ether Vial plan. It feels bad. I think we're actually going to go down Ether Vials and go up to three fatal pushes. And, yeah, let's go up a smash just in case they have Ensnaring Bridge. Just in case. All right. Zero Lander. And, well, I guess we try this. Cavern to the bottom. Mountain for our opponent. And passes. Well, Cavern, on Goblin. And Legion Loyalist. Start getting in some uncounterable damage. Opponent down to 19. Down. We'll pass the turn. Land for our opponent. And passes. A well, Blood Crypt untapped. And let's just ugh, get in with Legion Loyalist. Opponent down to 18. Play Metallic Mimic on Goblin. Pass the turn. Mountain and Blood Moon. That's actually annoying. Considering we have two Frog Tosser Bannerets in hand. Legion Loyalist. I mean, all we can do is dump our hand. Goblin Pile Driver. Go attacking. Wow! I can't believe how badly we're getting blown out by Blood Moon when we got Blood Moon in our deck. And then our opponent's leaving in Blood Moons. I can't believe this whole situation! Uh, I guess this is a pretty big vote for why you should play Mono Red. Reckoner. Opponent. Passing. We can't Fatal Push. We draw a black card. I guess we pass. I mean, we can't do anything. Eight. Opponent blocks here. Nine, ten, eleven. Then Boros Reckoner shoots down Pile Driver. Actually, I guess we just gotta attack. I don't think it gets any better than this. Opponent. Blocks Mimic. Alright. Yeah, they got the bolt. And that's game. Well, we had to try. We don't really have any any other option than just going for it. We can't cast our hand. The situation's not going to improve. Another Reckoner, and uh, yeah, we'll scoop it up. Alright, much of brew time. Playing some red-black goblins in modern. And, eh, I mean, hopefully we draw land. We have a pretty good curve. Pony has a Swift Spear. So, looks like opponent's playing Burn. Gets in with Swift Spear. Down to 19. Well, that's Black Cleave Cliffs. And Goblin Guide. Get in. Swift Spear on top for our opponent. Pass the turn. Another Inspiring Vantage. There's a Swift Spear. And Lava Spike. Oh, so much damage. Yup. Down to 16. Down to 12. Yep. Bona gets in with both. Down to 12. And passes. Well, getting with Goblin Guide. Opponent. <laughs> Another Swift Spear. Blood Crypt tapped. Bold a Swift Spear. Yeah, this feels not ideal. Pass the turn. There's a Swift Spear. 
Arid Mesa, Lightning Bolt. So this is just the classic turn, turn three kill from Burn. Down to five. We'll play Legion Loyalist. Get in with Legion Loyalist. Opponent down to 15. <laughs> Getting them. Pass the turd. Hopefully our opponent's out of action. Uh, they're not. So, Lightning Bolt of Swift Spear. And looks like they just have the burn spells to finish it off. Mountain. Tapping and untapping. A floating mana. Is our opponent doing this in the most complicated way possible? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I guess they wanted that Swift Spear to die first for some reason. Interesting technique. <laughs> uh, not sure why they didn't just fire it off, but... Uh, Alright, sideboarding against Burn. I guess we go down some Ether Vials for Fatal Pushes. Try it like that. Alright, we're on the play this game, which is good. And hopefully we do not draw land for the rest of the game. Bloodstained Mire, go. Opponent, Inspiring Vantage, and there's Goblin Guide. Goes attacking. Well, we got that land out of the way. Another land out of the way for free. Bolt the Goblin Guide. I'm sure our opponent's going to have about a million Searing Blazes and Searing Bloods. Anti's Hovel. Reveal Pile Driver. Play Pile Driver. And pass the turn. Opponent, Inspiring Vantage, and Eidolon. Yikes. Okay. We'll play Cavern on Goblin. We can't not play into this, unfortunately. Play Rabble Master, uncounterably. Go to combat. Get our Goblin token. Go attacking. Yep, blocks a token, takes 3 to 17. Pass the turn. Arid Mesa. Opponent cracks it. Gets a Mountain. Swift Spear. Uh-huh. Well, at least they take two in the process. And Lightning Bolt. Yep. Well, there goes Rabble Master. Opponents down to 12, but... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, down to 12, but... <laughs> but is the key, the key term there. Down to 10. But we're going to take a million damage off of our opponent's board. Gets in for five. So we're down to 12. And now we're going to take a million more damage to cast our own spells. More lands. Well, anti Hovel. Reveal War Marshal. Play War Marshal. Down to 10. I mean, we can't win if we don't play our stuff. So we have to just play it and, I don't know, hope our opponent has as many lands as we do. Play Pile Driver. Pass the turn. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. Well, we'll block with War Marshal because... We're probably not going to pay for it anyway. Get a token. Opponent passes. Well, go to combat. Attack with everything. Uh, this is all we can really do. They probably have a burn spell for Pile Driver. Blocks a goblin. Ugh. Not just a burn spell, but the best burn spell. That undoes the the life loss. Yep. I'll play a War Marshal. Down to six. Get a token. Play Cavern on Goblin. Pass the turn. Arid Mesa for our opponent. Searing Blaze. Trying to think of a conceivable way we can win this game, and I'm I'm drawing blanks. Oh. Or maybe we're just straight up dead right here. Opponent. There's the Boros Charm, and that does it. Alright. Oh, Red Black Goblins. Not sure about this one. Not sure about this one. Alright, much brew about nothing time. Playing some Red Black Goblins. And we're going to try this, mostly leaning super hard on this Ether Vial. And we are on the draw, so we could just draw a second land. But ideally, Ether Vial. Oh, no discard. Yeah, that's the downside of leaning on Ether Vial on the draw. I mean, if we still just draw a second land, we could be fine. Uh, Alright. Well, sometimes you just draw the card <laughs> that your opponent thought sees us. Like a champ, off the top. <laughs> oh, opponent, tilt, tilt, tilt. It is pretty tilting. <laughs> well, Ether Vile, go. Blooming Marsh for our opponent. And there's a Goyf. That's pretty big. Vile, take it up. Yup, now we get a land. So play the land, 
Crack Bloodstain Mire, grow the goif, unfortunately. Grab a snow covered mountain. And yeah, let's just actually Yeah, let's cast a banneret. Ship the turn. I mean our opponent probably has a ton of removal. If they don't have the ability to kill banneret, next turn's gonna be pretty explosive. Opponent passing. Well, violin loyalist. Untap. Tick up vile to two. Hmm. Ugh, how do we do this? Let's play Loyalist, play Pile Driver, pass the turn, Violin, another Pile Driver. All right, there's Blood Braid. What's our opponent hit? Oh my God, Liliana! That is a really good hit. Holy! Kills our Banneret. Well, Violin, Pile Driver, Untap. Take up Vile. We draw a pretty useless land. I mean, I guess all we can do is attack everything at our opponent. I don't really think we have any other options. So get a bunch of triggers. We are going to lose a Legion Loyalist. But we're going to hit our opponent for a lot of damage. Blocks, blocks. Violin, Mad Ante. Hit our opponent to four! Uh, alright, pass the turn. I mean, what do you got, opponent? We are one draw away. Oh! You gotta be joking! Maelstrom Pulse off the top. Oh, Risky Bob. Come on, Goblet Grenade. Come on, Goblet Grenade. Come on, Dak. You can do it. Opponent passes. Goblet Grenade. One time. One time. Nope. War Marshal. Well, War Marshal's not bad. Uh, yeah. Pass the turd, pass the turd. Come on, hit a four. Hit a four. Huntmaster. Thought sees. Well, opponent's not going to cast that, I don't think. Takes down Desperation. Gets back Blood Braid. Hoping to spin the wheel into some fun times. Spins the Blood Braid wheel. Lightning Bolt. Oh my god. Oh, this is the literal worst. Okay. Overgrown Tomb tapped. Wow. Oh, Lord Almighty. Come on, Dak. Lightning Bolt. Goblin Grenade. Lightning Bolt. Goblin Grenade. Lightning Bolt. Goblin Grenade. Play anti Subble. Pass the turn. Come on. Die to your Bob. Please. Please. It's... Oh, it gets a land! Oh! No! No! <laughs> Oh, this is not fair. It's not fair. Oh, no way! Ah! No! My goodness, this is so unfair. Oh, it's absurd. Opponent gets in. Gets in. Oh, that's ridiculous. A uh, deck, if there's any fairness in the world, you will let us draw a goblin grenade here. Because this is not fair. Opponent passes come on one time deck one time in the name of justice chieftain does that do it violin chieftain play loyalist they could just have more removal go to combat everything at our opponent blocks blocks goes to one back to three pass the turn come on bob do it do it do it do it. Oh, land! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Takes down! Gets a Bloodbraid Elf! Bloodbraid Elf. Let's see how well our opponent spins this time. Spoiler, I'm sure the answer is incredibly. Bloodbraid Elf. <laughs> this is so not real. Where's... They have so many Thought Seasons and Inquisitions and bad cards, but no, no, nope. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Not happening. Yep. Opponent eats some stuff. Plays a tap land. Passes. Goblin grenade. In the name of fairness. Will you do it, deck? It would be fair. It would be fair. Lightning bolt. <laughs> well, go to combat. Attack everything at our opponent. Blocks. 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 So our opponent's taking 
one damage. Yeah, well, do that. Lightning bolt to ooze. Kill some stuff, lose some stuff, pass the turn. This deck has a very low amount of reach, which I think is one of the biggest flaws with this deck. If you're going to play goblins, the reason to play goblins is... Yeah, it gets back to ooze, and that's game. The reason to play goblins is that you have goblin grenade. It's just the best goblin card. So to cut the best goblin cards and instead play... Ether Vials, I think is the biggest reason that this deck has been pretty bad. Another Liliana. Well, this is it. We have one draw step to hit one of our two Goblin Grenades. Because we're only playing two for some reason. So, alright deck, this is it. You either give us a Goblin Grenade here, or this was all for nothing. Vile. War Marshal. And we will scoop it up. Alright! Well, let's see what we would have drawn. Yep, no Goblin Grenades for a million turns. Oh, wow. Well, bring in Blood Moons. Bring in Fatal Pushes. Go down Aether Vials. Uh, I guess that was a good example of the power of Bloodbraid Elf. I feel like our opponent got a little lucky with their spins. Like, if they, any of their spins had hit a Thought Seize instead of... Good removal spell, scavenging use to gain life. And then our opponent also got lucky with their bob flips. There was at least a couple of turns where, like, the Kitchen Finks turn in specific stands out, where they obviously drew the Finks because they would have played it, but they flipped the land. So if their top two cards were reversed in order, they were dead and we won the game. Instead, they were in the proper order for our opponent. They got the land for no life, which drew them into the Kitchen Finks. So opponent's playing, like, ultra-high variance version of Jund, and the variance was in their favor. It's like Hollow One Jund. Oh, man. I am starting to think that this deck is just really, really bad. It's cute, and I like some of the cute ideas of it, but I have not found... I mean, I guess avoiding counters might be the one upside, but I have not found anything about this deck that makes me think that it is better than 8 Whack Goblins. In fact, it's kind of the opposite. It actually, it actually seems like just about everything about the deck is just worse than playing 8 Whack Goblins. Blooming Marsh. And Inquisition. Opponent, in the tank. You should take the Lord. I'll give you a hint. Takes Goblin Grenade. Well, that's a little disappointing because we only have two in our deck for some reason. Play Black Cleave Cliffs. Blood Moon is a way to potentially jank this game out if our opponent doesn't have more discard. The fact that they... I don't know. They probably take Goblin Grenade figuring they can just kill our creatures. Hopefully they're just playing like a Goyf or something here. Alright, it's a Goyf. Well, Blood Moon is a good way. We're going to definitely let this die so we can cast Blood Moon. Um, play the Mountain. Unfortunately, we do not have any black mana. But Blood Moon means our opponent can't really cast anything. Alright, more mountains. Opponent passes. Well, play Muag War Marshal. Goblin Grenade the Goyf. Go attacking. Um, they can't Liliana, so we'll play anti Subtle. Pass the turn. Opponent. On the all-mountain plan. Blood Moon's still pretty good against Jun. Play Goblin Guide. And I feel like we're gonna get this one. It seems like all of our wins have come thanks to Blood Moon. <laughs> that seems like that's a theme lately. <laughs> Alright, well we got there. The Blood Moon. The Blood Moon is enough. Opponents not being able to cast their spells. Oh, that first game. That means we would have the match win. Alright. Alright, let's run it back. Well, we got a Blood Moon, if our opponent doesn't have Discard. Alright, Black Cleave Cliffs. We do need one more land. anti Hovel. Reveal Goblin Guide. Play Goblin Guide. We do have two Blood Moons, so we just need one land to theoretically win the game. Get in. No land. Come on, no land. Dark Confidant on top. Yup. Opponent Bolts. Down to four cards in hand. They're gonna play a Bob, though, and we can't kill the Bob at the moment. Bloodstained Mire. Probably gonna get a Basic. Yup. So Blood Moon a little less devastating. There's a Bob. We just got to keep the pressure on. Opponent passes. We still want to... Oh, never mind. 
That's good. Fatal Push the Bob, Black Cleave Glyphs, uh, Goblin Guide, get in. Dreadbore on top, opponent passes. Man, a land is still so good. Dreadbore, come on, land, land. Stomping Grounds, oh, land, land for the win. Not a land. Frog Tosser Banneret, get in. Four, one. Bonet, land. Oh, they're going to have their basics. Blood Moons are looking not good now. Yep, Forest. And they have Blood Braid. They do. Spins the wheel. God. That is so brutal. And that's game. That is the game. Well, if we hit our third land drop, we would have won. There's not even really a reason to play any of the cards in our hand. Because they just die to Liliana Plus. Treetop Village for our opponent. Takes up. Gets in. I mean, I guess we play Mog War Marshal. It still mostly dies to Liliana. Pass the turn. Oh, man. Playing this deck just makes me want to play 8 Whack Goblins. I might actually play 8 Whack Goblins just to get the taste of this Red Black Goblins list out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm actually being serious. Like, we might, we might just have more videos featuring 8 Whack Goblins because... This has been brutal, and not even really fun. It's just been brutal and horrible, and everything about it has been not good. And we will scoop it up. All right. Well, let's do the wrap-up right now real quick. Don't play this deck. It's amazingly bad. Play 8 Whack Goblins instead. Please, for the love of God. For the love of God, just play 8 Whack Goblins. Do not play Red Black Goblins. Please. <laughs> and that's your wrap-up. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for the exciting conclusion of our Goblins in Modern Much Abrew About Nothing. Will 8 Whack be better than Red Black? We'll find out tomorrow on Much Abrew About Nothing! Thanks for watching the video! If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.